Let's fold a skirt. There's the two ways. There's the square way, the display way that makes you can make a pocket. And then there's the very small rolly way. And I'm gonna go and do both. First, we're gonna do the display way. So let's go. There are two ways to fold the skirt. Um, we have the quick way and we have the smaller way. And they're both the same way, but the smaller way is a bit slightly more tricky to get, to get small and tuck in. And, but once you've mastered doing it the first display quick way, you can do the very small way for packing. So first is I'm going to show you how to do the display way. Um, we did it this way because it's the end of the night, people want to go home. You know, we haven't got time. We want to go to bed, we've got, we've got long journeys to get home to. We finished at eight o'clock, nine o'clock. This is Debenham's mega days sometimes. We finished up, used to finish at midnight. So yes, Debenham's was not the best place to work. Sorry. So we always start bottoms up. You can see that it's at the bottom because it's flat, because it's split. We fold into three. One, two. Conmarie is always right with three. Now, because this is a quick way, we take the waistband, this is the waistband, and we fold it up. We fold it about halfway up. So that's good. Now we get the hem, you can see the hem here, and we put the hem, I'm going to flip it like that so it's easier for you to see, and it's going to go straight into here. Straight in. Because it's not so bulky, it will go in really easy. Lickety split. It's done. It's mostly tucked in. I'm being a bit fussy. There we go. It's mostly tucked in. It's flat. It's in. Hopefully it was in shot. I didn't check. But it should be in. It's in. You've got the hat. You've got the space there to put things in, like if you want to put another bra and another knickers, you, you can put it, storage. It's very flat, it's not bulky, because it's only basically one, two, three, four layers thick. So, brilliant. So that's that way. Now you know how to do this quick way, you can do for the slightly difficult way. So we're going back, start to the beginning. I always start from the beginning. There, bottoms up, Conmore is free. One, two, fold it. You do your two folds to get it into three. That's not very even. Let's get that, that's it. It's now into three. Unlike the quick way where we've started from the waistband and folded it up, we fold, I'm gonna flip you this way so you can see, we fold the hem and we fold it just about, yeah, maybe about a quarter of the way up, a third of the way up. Whereas when we were doing the quick way, we were definitely folding it halfway, like that. But this way, this, this other way, we're folding it about a third of the way up. So that's the, that's the hem. Now we're going to take the waistband and we fold this waistband up to cover where the hem ends. So we're covering it just like that. That's done. That's the, no, that is the, that's the waistband. Now I'm going to turn this round so you can see what I'm going to do. Now, we get this doubled over bit. This is what takes the time, is we get this doubled over bit and we put it into the mouthpiece here that we made by folding our waistband. So this is going to go into that hole there.
Yeah, that's not so good. But we've not finished. We've only started. The plan, the the plan is we've got to get all of this that we folded over to get as much of it in to this bit as possible. So by doing that, you can sort of you see that it's done that there. When you've made it, you basically you stop saying basically, but you're going to say it. You've got to get this all the way there and you try and push it as far as you can and it will basically, it will stop just before the waistband, before the, the main hem, because that is, your hem is always wider than your waistband. If I do that there, you can see that the waist, like the waistband is very, very much wider. It's about two inches wider. So it will come to a natural stop about there and you may not, you, you're generally not able to get more in. So let's start tucking in. So it's going in. It's harder to get in, so what you do is you get your hand, you find that little bit there and you lift it up because that makes it either and you roll it up a bit so you've got more room. Pull it out a little bit, push it in. And you just keep going. And let's try and keep this on camera because it's easy for me to try and do it off the camera. This skirt has really gone through the ringer. It's really like, I don't want to be folded anymore. It's playing up. So. We're trying to get you all in. It's not going anymore. We've, we've reached a natural stopping place and it's easy quite to fix it because it's only in thirds. So you just find it inside and you just fix it back like that. And you can see it's there. That's the your end bit. That's the hem, which is where I said it was going to stop because it was that's where this where this was wider than that. So that won't go in anymore. It's reached the end. So we just make sure that it's flattened. Flatten it as nicely and we just tap just just faffing about to make it a bit look a bit more attractive. And it's done. Folded small, very small. This is smaller than the first one. You can see the first one was like about that big. It was about a third of the way. This is about a quarter of the size of your full skirt because the full skirt was there and if I do it like that you can see there's like one, two, three, four, four. It's about it's cut this down into the quarter of the size. So I'll do this one again for you just so that you can see because this one is harder. Again one two three fold it into three fold the hem Fold the hem up until quarters away. Get your waistband, fold it up to cover, just like here, cover it up there. And now you're ready. And then you get this, it's doubled up, and you double push it back into there. This skirt has really had enough of being folded. Lifting, we're getting all of that skirt in. As much as we can in, and it's it's reaching a natural end point. So we just flatten it out so it looks a bit smarter. Tuck the bits that's come out in. Good. Again, if you want to pop things in there, you can. You can pop in a pair of knickers, and you can put your other bra. I, I could get another bra in there because my bra is like that. And it would. And if you want to make it stand up, because this is so solid, you can. What you do is you find the ring, the, the hole there, so you've got like that. Push your hand down, 
And because this is so solid here, it will stand. It, well, it did yesterday. Can we stand? It's making a little triangle, and triangles are solid. They're the first buildable, stackable thing, and they are one of the most strongest shapes in nature. Triangles and hexagons. There you go, and it's standing. And you can put things in. Like we, when we in post shops, we put like little herbs and socks. We would trail jewelry over. You can do this. You can do this way of displaying when you're rolling up blankets as well. That you go and see this. They sometimes do, used to do this in um, Harrods and and the White Company because the person who used to work in who used to work in Harrods who trained me did trained people that worked in um, the white company and they they do things like that and they put their you know they put the herbs there and they have scars and they have you know all kinds of things it's they're standing there we go let's put it back flat i prefer i prefer having it flat because that's how i'm using it storage done as you can see, I've already done this one, so I've just got to unravel it. Um, I'll do it on camera so you can see. There we go. Okay, this is like a very full circle skirt. It's not going to fit on the camera. So, you can see. Oh, if I do it this way, you can see how wide it is. And again, with all... All the folding is that it's always bottoms to the top. Let's get those pockets, get the pockets inside if your skirt has pockets. I'd say about nine, 80 to 95% of my skirts do now because I don't buy things without pockets anymore. The first thing is to knock out the volume. So let's get this. You can see that there's a lot of volume in this skirt. We're gonna knock out the volume. And the way to do that is because when you're folding things, you want things to go in to make things into a square or a cylinder. So we're going to fold this over. Into the, we don't want to do the waistband yet. We fold this to make it straight. Okay, so that's as straight as you can with that waistband. So that's one. Are we going to do the same with the other side? We're going to take out that volume. One hem. Now we've made it, we've made that into, a, we've made it now the same shape as the pencil. So now we can do what we would do with a pencil, is that we fold it into three. So that's one, and then two. Oops, so not infallible. There we go, fold it along, that's one. There we go. Two. Look how small it is already. See, we've created a long shape. And now, from this long shape, we can choose which way we want to do. If we want to do um, the quick way, which is fold up your hem, halfway up, pockets are making it very bulky, and then into this little waistband hole we've got there, we're going to just pop this in. Because this waistband is quite small and this girl is quite big, it will pull it out a little bit, but you can just fix that. Done. That skirt is now, you can put anything you want in it. So that's this is probably the best way to do it for bulky skirts like this. I'll now show you how to do the really, really small way with the same skirt. So, as always, I start from the very beginning. So, open, keep it flat, bottoms up. Get your waistband. Make sure the waistband, get the end, that's this, and we fold it in so that you're making a straight line with your waistband. It's the best thing you can do. So that's one side, one side in, 
What I'm going to do the other side. Other side, fold that in. Oh, I nearly filled, folded that bit there. Fold it in. Now we've knocked out some of the volume. We've knocked out about a half a quarter, a third of the volume. And now we're going to fold it into three. So that's one, two. And I noticed that I didn't knock up enough volume, so I'm going to just do it in again. Put that in there because that wasn't straight enough. There we go, that's straight. You can see that is now straight. Now we're going to do it with this one. Now you can see it's definitely straight now, it's definitely straight. See, I'm not infallible. Now we're going into thirds. Once, twice. It is now into thirds. It's ready. And now we're going to, this may be a bit bulk, this may come up bulky. This is why this, the, the, the first way, way is better for like full circle skirts. But we're gonna do the, the small way. So remember we fold about a quarter, we fold a third of the way up. Then we get the hem, I mean the, uh, we fold the hem third of the way up. Then we get the waistband, and we fold the waistband to cover. And as you can see, the, the hem is much small. The hem is much smaller than the waistband, and it's already quite bulky. So this is why I don't recommend this for very thick so skirts like this one. But you can still do it. So we're going to get this doubled up bit, and we're going to pop it into this hole that you've made here. Now you have got a bit of leeway, you can just fit faff about and move that a bit, but I wouldn't do it too much because it will collapse it. So let's try and get as much as we can in here. Oh, you can see it's very tough. It will go in, but it's not liking it because it's a lot. It can be done. This is quite a stiff skirt. It's going in. This is why I say you can just faff about a little bit and move those bits at the side to make them a bit bigger. It won't go too far down, but it's gone down almost. It's gone down quite a fair way. Again, you can do that lift. The circle because it's made a circle, and you can pull again to pull it down. Let's loosen that other side. See, so with loosening those sides a little, it gives you a bit more leeway, so there's a bit more stretch. And this is a stretch, this has got good amounts of elastine in it. So, this is as far as this hem will allow it. That is and you see how small it's gone from that big circle, that big skirt. It's now small. That's to show you could do it with any skirt. You can do it with a dress as well, which I am going to film on the floor. That's your dress. Right, this is the rolling method. So we fold it in once. Again, it's always bottoms up. I don't know why it works bottoms up. Sometimes you can roll when it's forward facing, but bottoms up is always easiest. Once, twice, make it flat, and then we just roll, 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 roll. This is when you really don't really care, and you just want it very, very small. Make sure you've got this here, you've got your mouth bit here, that's the mouth bit. And instead of delicately putting this in so it's a display, like you did when you were doing the flat, you just pull these out to the side, pull the edge to the side, and tuck it in. There is a way to do it so that you have the pretty bit, but I can't remember. So, but this is, this is a, 
when your clothes are dirty and you you want to pack them so that they, they, you don't want to get too much dirt on, this is the way to do it. It's done. Ta da! Very, very small. Let's just go. Okay, I had to try and do it so that I can, when I flip it, you can see it on camera. It's going to be very quite tight. So, front facing, because this is, because we're going to do it so that the waistband is on the top. Like how I did with the slip. Um, if you haven't seen the slip, um, I'll sh there'll be an underwear one and you can see the slip. So, rule of three, we're going to fold this once. No, we're not, because we're not, we're not doing that. We're rolling. So we're going to roll, see I caught myself there, I'm not perfect, we're rolling and we roll from the hem, we roll from the, the waistband down to the hem, keep rolling, rolling and we make sure that we leave a bit here so I'm not going to roll all the way, just a little bit, I'm just going to have half, half of that roll so that we've got that bit there. So that was from facing upwards, front. This is the front, and we're going to flip it. Now you see it's the back. Ooh, it's split. And then we're going to go do rule of three again. Throw one side in, other side in. This is the bit that's hard. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to do this again. So you see, I've rolled it. This is rolled. It's rolled down. You've got your bit left. Flipping it over. Yeah, low bottom it. Yep. Flipping it over. Now, put that in once. Put that in twice. This is the hard bit. Is that we've got to find this little mouth bit here, which is when when we tucked it in, when we just tucked. But this, we've now got to pull the bit that's loose and we're going to roll it into this mouth bit. Now, it's quite hard, and I don't think I've left enough, but you can still see, I'm gonna do it. And the best way to do it is to find that bit there and just yank it over. And it rolls in. There we go, that's in. That's gonna roll. Keep rolling it, pulling it outside. Pushing what you thought the bottom one is, you're effectively reversing. Very well. Keep going. You see that mouth bit there? Keep going. Believe. Believe. Keep going. You got one more. You're gonna see. Keep going. Nearly there. One more roll, and you're gonna have the you're gonna have the waistband. Oh, so pretty! Look at that. Keep going. One more, because this is the waistband now. We're going to go get the waistband and get the waistband. Just pop it straight over. And because you've done it like this, this is going nowhere. This, this is small. This is tiny, tiny, tiny. And this is how you roll. And this is how you make it small. I'm going to do it like that so you can see it. It's my hands next to it. See, see, see how small my hands are? So there you go. 